the days are getting shorter and the nights are getting longer. Tonight we're imaging one of the more mystical regions of the Pegasus constellation, Stefan's Quintet. This is a group of five galaxies with a varying distance of about 40 to 300 million light years away. And we'll also be imaging a sixth nearby galaxy, NGC 7331, in the same photo. This is not something you want to miss. I'm Arjun and you're watching God's Art. There's so many great targets in the night sky, but there's only a select few which really get your head spinning. What's incredible about Stefan's Quintet is that four of the five galaxies are so close to each other that they're already interacting. Over the course of billions of years, these galaxies are slowly going to clash and merge into one, two of which are already in the process of merging. We are literally capturing the birth of a completely new galaxy altogether. A moment in time which in billions of years will be an unrepeatable forgotten story. And all of this happening many millions of light years away in that direction. I also mentioned a sixth galaxy that we'll be imaging, that's NGC 7331, a spiral galaxy which is about 40 million light years away from Earth. This will appear much bigger than the other five galaxies and it's just a really nice addition to the photo. This is a challenging image to take just because of how far away Stefan's quintet is. So they will appear small in the final image, but just to capture this moment in the universe's ever-expanding story is fascinating to me. This is just going to be one of those magical photos where you're looking deep into space with amazement. By the way, check this out, do not skip this bit, you will not regret it. So I'm quite a collector of things and recently I made an amazing purchase. This is just something you have to see. So I've just bought this fossil of a trilobite, a species that went extinct around 250 million years ago. These are one of the more successful early animals, living in oceans for around 300 million years. This was roaming the planet with the dinosaurs and long before we arrived. If I think of the year 3000, that seems so crazy into the future, but now imagine 250 million years. That is the gap between when this animal was alive and roaming the planet, and now. This trilobite is as many years old as the galaxies that we're taking a picture of are light years away. Meaning that the photons that we capture today were emitted from that galaxy when this trilobite was roaming the Earth. So it's time now to get prepared to capture those images. Okay, so we're all set up now and the session is finally underway. Autumn is probably one of the nicest times of the year for astrophotography. You get that perfect blend of longer nights, but also not too cold temperatures, so you really get to enjoy your session. We're of course using my Skywatcher 200 PDS. That 1000mm focal length is nice, but Stefan's Quintet is just so small. We need something two to three times the power to capture a really up-close photo. So later down the line, when I get a more powerful telescope, I'm definitely going to revisit this. But even now we should capture a nice photo, a bit more wide field of view of Stefan's Quintet along with its neighbouring galaxy NGC 7331 which will appear quite large in the photo, it's going to make for a really nice final image. We'll also be using the Oplong L Pro filter today which is a solid broadband filter uh, which will cut out that light pollution and only let in those natural colours of the galaxy. Normally we use the L Extreme which is a narrow band filter only letting in HA and O3 that's really good for nebulae, but if you want natural colours, which we need for galaxies, then the LPO filters are a much better solution. So hopefully today we capture a really nice looking natural galaxy. It's also important to note that we're imaging on the new moon phase, which means that there's no moonlight in the sky, resulting in us having a lot more contrast in our photo. This gives us a great opportunity tonight and we've got to make sure we get it right. I started the session at about 9.45 and we're going to go to about 2 or 3am, hopefully giving us a lot of data to choose from and I want to be really selective to only choose those very best subframes. But by imaging to about 3am, I should have about five hours worth of data, which is more than enough to capture a really nice final photo. So we'll be going for four minute exposures and we'll also be going for a gain of 120 like previous images. Um, but this is definitely something I want to experiment with in the near future. Everything is lined up nicely in the frame. It all looks very dim at the moment in these sub exposures. But once we process it, I'm confident we can bring out some very nice detail. I've only ever imaged a galaxy once before, the Whirlpool Galaxy, so I'm very excited to be imaging another one today. There's just something quite different and amazing about them. 
They're home to trillions of stars, planets, solar systems. And who knows, maybe someone out there is taking a picture of our Milky Way galaxy at the same time. The guiding also seems to be working pretty well today. We're tracking the night sky with good precision, under one arc second generally, um, meaning we can keep nice, sharp, round stars. So while the session is underway, I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who supported this channel so far. It really means a lot to me, and especially to hear your feedback in the comments section. To be at nearly 300 subscribers now is just incredible. And to be honest, it's happened a lot quicker than I thought it would. So now I'm just focused on creating high quality content and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Sitting out here alone with your thoughts, looking up at the order and chaos of the universe. It's really something you can't fully convey to someone who's never experienced it. If you're an astrophotographer too, you know that feeling of wonder and awe when you're looking up just thinking, what is actually going on? It's truly a unique experience. I've got a good feeling about this session. Stefan's quintet, hundreds of millions of light years away. And we're out here capturing it. Thank you.